My work hours are 830 am 5 pm no exceptions. You got it. So, I work in the entertainment sector in an office setting. Sometimes the work around here slows when we get ahead of projects. Some of us live 45 minutes to an hour away from the shop so we would come in a few minutes late and maybe leave 5 to 10 minutes early to get a start of the traffic, not watch the clock. There's times when you come to a checkpoint in your work and it wouldn't make sense to start up the next part since you leave in 10 minutes. The vice president of the company said if we keep doing this we will be written up that we are to be at our desks at 830 am and to not leave until 5 pm. All of us would answer calls and respond to work emails past 5. Myself. I would return calls and emails until 7 pm on the weekdays and monitor my email over the weekend. Once the VP shifted to such rigid stance on work hours we did as well. Now. My email notifications are muted from 501 to 830 and completely turned off on the weekends. I showed my co-workers how to do the same thing via their outlook. Now, we all leave at 5 but refuse to do any work outside our scheduled hours. The VP is famous for sending emails and texts after work hours and has become frustrated that he doesn't hear back until the next day or maybe even the following Monday. Absolutely burns him up. He said we should be monitoring our emails after work in case of an emergency. I simply said what he said. My work hours are from 8.30 am to 5 pm. Nothing more nothing less. So over 15 minutes of work presence he has lost all outside work hour support. Everyone refuses to answer emails after 5 or on the weekends. He hates it but still hasn't budged just keeps saying how we need to be more company focused. I was. Until you decided me leaving 10 minutes early was an issue and I decided that I would follow his. Example. 830 to 5. You get what you wish for. Edit to fix spacing. Never really post that much so I'm still new to it. Nicely done. If he demands rigidity then he doesn't get to complain about your lack of flexibility. Can't have it both ways. I love this! Exclamation mark exclamation mark. Contract works both ways. You have my admiration. Perfect response. Nobody should for someone that rigid. Goodwill works both ways. Good for you and your co-workers. Expectations that employees will be available after hours should come with flexibility for those employees during traditional work hours. That should be the new norm in today's constantly connected workforce. Your boss needs to break out of his old school ways. Goodwill is earned, or, as in this case, lost it's a give and take. And a VP who is not employee focused will not find their employees being company focused. It's that simple. It's a simple rule. Never care for your company. Or bosses. More than they care for you. They'll just take that for granted. And let you burn out without even a thanks. I love it. It is so ridiculous. It really shows some poor cognitive discipline to not realize that he was benefiting from your flexibility so that when he killed the flexibility he was hurting himself boss you need to be more company focused you that'll happen when the company gets more me focused i was in promotions at my old job the gm had the idea to make me a sales assistant for half of the day from 912 i was only to help sales no exceptions from 15 I was only to work in promotions. He'd send almost weekly email reminders. Under no circumstances are you to work on promotions before noon. So on the days the salespeople didn't need me I'd just sit at my desk playing games and dicking around. My boss in promotions would ask for help and I'd tell her. Sorry. Not before 1 o'clock. She was cool and knew the reason why. 
I eventually slipped up and told him how stupid the whole thing was and he was all. You took those emails literally? Uh, yeah. You'd send them out to me almost every week. After that he said to use my judgment. I took pride in being a manager that would ask someone to work an extra hour or two during the week. But then at 3 p.m. on Friday I would chase them out of the office to go home. Sucks for him. Sounds like he needs to listen to his own rules. If he's sending emails after his scheduled hours then he's also in violation of those work hours. Rules. Good for you for sticking to his orders and thus creating a better work life balance for yourself and your family. Keep it up. I used to do the same as well until our corp decided to have us clock in, out and got rigid about overtime. So now I don't do any work on my phone, email, etc. outside of my stated work hours and if it doesn't get done well. Shrug, I'm much happier for it. 2. No more working over the weekends and losing out on spending time with the wifey and a bucket of popcorn and a movie. Tale as old as time. At my old job, the owner took exception to the fact I was coming in at 9.30 every day told us everyone was to be in their seat at 9 o'clock sharp. I said sure thing, except I was always the last one to leave, often at 1900 or 2000, because we were short-staffed and I was trying to finish projects, which the owner knew very well, since they'd given me the keys and the task of locking up for the night. After I had to be at my desk at 9 o'clock I started leaving at 1700, and soon I didn't have enough time to finish everything and started asking the owner which projects I should drop because I could do either X or Y, and definitely not Z, left shortly after. If they want you to look at your email after work you should be paid. Also, paragraphs would have made this read much easier. Luckily it was short. Honestly, this is the way it should be. Anyway, companies shouldn't expect to get work out of their employees outside of work hours. And employees shouldn't voluntarily give it no matter how much you love what you do. Never be company focused. Some people bitch because employees aren't loyal anymore. Please read this in an annoying whiny voice as that's what I heard when I wrote it. There is no loyalty to employees anymore. Not sure there ever was. Even if VP apologizes and says to go back the way things were. Don't. No thank you. VP. You were so right and I'm happy to comply. The whole be company focused thing chaps my ass. For me that's right up there with, we are a family at this company, instant flag on the play. I'm in IT. I don't do any IT for even family without some form of recompense. If my obligated work hours are 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., then that's when I work. It took me years to train myself into this attitude. Prior to that, I would drop everything to answer a phone call or respond to an IT ticket. But no more. I shall have my life outside of work hours and that's final. Time management instead of quality work. Very rarely does watching the clock end up in favor of the employer. Not sure why they all make such a big deal about it. I work in a boarding school and we had this once. Head removed the bar and all social spaces for staff. Bear in mind we literally live at the school. So we went elsewhere. Then we get a speech asking, where has all the goodwill gone? Single quote. Ah, to the VP, be careful what you ask for, you might just get it. Good boundary honestly to not be glued to work after work hours. I did an internship when I was 20 21sts and was answering emails until 10 pm. Realized I wasn't getting paid for that and wasn't getting paid nearly enough to go that far for anything in my life. Now at my workplace. Everything work-related is muted until my next start time. 
And I bet he's one of those bosses who complains about quiet quitting, too. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.